Hello, everyone. Whoa, is that Master D. Luke? Oh, D. Luke, what's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? Elzer told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Uh, Elzer is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh, I thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. If you were in the wine business, You'd already be one of our biggest rivals. Whoa, whoa. Threat? Rival? Oh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm. A competition with the Traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable, and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Oh, that makes sense! It's hard to be in the mood to go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. I never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more making business together, then. Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D. Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy, like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. <sighs> you can say that again. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. 
Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. You need us to make a potion that decreases tension, but increases attention. So that people can enjoy the finer things in life, no matter how busy or stressed they are. Uh, did Pyron get that right? Exactly. Wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss, not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. We're finished with the potion, Master Diluc. Please give it a try. Oh, I thought you might need more time. But it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. Wow, the effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself? Interesting and very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. If our potion was enough to impress Master Diluc, I'm sure regular customers are going to be even more amazed! Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master D. Luke! Oh, so you're the ones behind the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. Huh? Goro? Where did you come from? Oh, and Kirara's here too! What are you guys doing in Mondstadt? <laughs> Comania Express operates all across Tavat, so I'm always on the road. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got lost not too far from here. <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign territory, but Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. I've basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and out. Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Our future business is counting on you. Back to Paimon's question though, you still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. 
Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So, we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Turns out it was the right choice. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you practically hit the jackpot by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere else. Oh, more customers from abroad. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. You really do have friends all over to that. Hmm, looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. You know what? I should introduce you sometime. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? I'll even bring my student along. Afternoon tea? Sounds great! I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Ugh. Thanks for the invitation. Huh. Something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, why does this feel so familiar? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Traveler, care to make some introductions? G G Guardian Mage? Wow, what an impressive title. Is it a position similar to that of a Guji? Wait. Could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high-ranking as Her Excellency, like Lady Sanganomiya herself? Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack! Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just, uh, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komania Express. Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, the collection of books from Inazuma that I have in the library. You were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. As for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. Let me guess, your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Exactly! Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Okay, I could definitely use a potion like that as well. When I'm out on a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. Yep, leave it to us! Well, while you two hop to it, I'm gonna find an idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, wonder what that'll be like. Oh, I can't wait to find out. <sighs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. Goro, Kirara, your potion is now ready. Why don't you give it a try? Wonderful! You two sure work fast! Hmm... Wow! My right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion and the pain is completely gone. The, the 
pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. Guess we can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers at Komania Express to our list of happy customers. Well, now that our work is out of the way, there's nothing standing between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. Oh, perfect! Lisa's here! I'm sorry to report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. I sent someone to fetch him in Wolvendom, but he wasn't there. It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry-eared companions. But I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. It'll give him something to look forward to. Wow, you've placed quite the sizable order. Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuman friends. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re-upping your supply when the time comes. If making the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. Of course! I have a feeling this super-powerful alchemical craft of yours could be a game-changer for the entire delivery industry! Absolutely! I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler and Paimon! Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kirara. Hmm, the next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. A formal meeting between Her Excellency and the Honorable Guardian Mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression on him. It's given him all sorts of funny ideas. Wow, I have to hand it to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much Mora in such a short amount of time. You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. <laughs> Always so humble. Although, with results this impressive, I would say you could stand to take a bit more credit. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the amount of vacation without a care in the world. With all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. Thank you so much for all your help. Of course, if you're interested in continuing to run the shop, you'd make me a very happy Lisa. In either case, I should already have more than enough to report back to Jean with. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Oh, you're here! I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. No need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. <laughs> Looks like you've troubled the Traveler to help you once again. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must-have, especially if we want good results. Look at the success of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way and I simply couldn't find the time. Regardless, I just knew I had to come thank you in person. It's truly reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. <sighs> Once this is all over, I do believe I'm due for a vacation. I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. Of course. Thank you for all your hard work. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. It wasn't that bad. After all, it's not like I was in it alone. All the help from the Knights and the Traveler really helped to lessen the load. Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive those days every once in a while. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you again for all your help, Traveler. Please take this as your compensation. Ah! 
Speaking of compensation, I've also prepared a little memento for you. Here, I hope you like it.